There are those who would have us believe that the United States has reached the zenith of its power, that we're weak and fearful, reduced to bickering with each other. I don't agree that our nation must resign itself to inevitable decline. America is the richest, freest nation the world has ever seen. But as a father of six, I look around and all signs tell me something is sick in the soul of our country. And history tells me that we're headed for disaster if we don't change our course now. The set of ideas that is being implemented and advanced in this capital at this time is terribly frightening to people who are students of history. If you look at the 70 superpowers in history, every single one of them has called themselves exceptional. When you look at the Roman Empire, the parallels to what is going on in America are absolutely frightening. And the question is, are we going to go the right path ourselves, or are we going to continue down the wrong path that so many nations have fallen into? I went on a journey to retrace the footsteps of our forefathers to see if they left us some kind of a map that would guide us back to the foundation of America's success. When I think of pilgrims, I think of what I was taught in history class. Think of pilgrims coming over in these funny black and white suits with big hats and belt buckles on their shoes. These are the people out of the box. These are the radicals of their day. Can you imagine? Chained here, and you're open to the elements. You can read about places like this. You can smell the history. You can't fake this. Welcome to Mayflower 2. So we have 102 people yeah. in this area. Look at that. I mean, can you imagine you're going to be sharing that? It's actually quite comfortable. <laughs> What I discovered is that our history has not just been forgotten, it's been rewritten. I'm stunned just what's on this table. I mean, this alone would, would change everyone's perspective about what made America such a great nation. Time is flying by too quickly, and our children's futures won't wait. We've got to do something now. Why is this monument not being showcased more? It is illustrating the principles of what this country is all about, and it's falling apart. There is nothing in today's America that cannot be solved by a genuine going back to the American first principles. That's good news. Very good news. I'm looking for good news. This is the most important journey of my life. My family is worth fighting for, and so is yours.